questions to ask a question, just raise your hand and we will call on you. Coach? I appreciate uh, our fan base uh, all, all, all season long. Uh, been phenomenal in, in the way they've responded to, uh, to our program and, and to our players. Tonight was no different. Vol walk was, uh, was a sight to see, and, and uh, you know, our fans did a great job early in the football game. I know it's tough for our student body the, you know, as they go home, but, man, the, the students that did show up uh, were fantastic tonight, too. Appreciate that. I want to thank our seniors just from the time that I've gotten here, all the uncertainty when I first got introduced up on this podium uh, and what they faced for two months probably leading up to that moment and how they've responded, stepped through the fire, who they are as people and leaders inside of our program. Uh, they've helped lay a, a rock-solid foundation to this program as, as we go forward and uh, appreciate everything that they've done. Uh, excited about the win uh, today. Um, you know, just I thought defensively started super fast. Obviously, the pick six by, by Theo, great play by him. Uh, Bayless, huge return offensively. Don't, don't uh, get things going there uh, early in the football game. Don't convert in, in that short field. But um, kids responded. I thought defense played stifling. Suffocating defense all uh, the entire first half. Gave up the one play at the end of the first half. Liked the way they came out and responded in, in the second half for the most part and, and uh, offensively found a way to get into rhythm and, uh, and get some things going there as the, the game unfolded. But uh, appreciate who they are, what they're about, how they compete, how they've grown, and uh, their competitive spirit every time that uh, we strap it on and run through, uh, run out on the football field. So with that, I'll open it up. Going to a bowl, you're guaranteed a winning record. In terms of building the program long term, how important was it to have success immediately in year one? Important uh, for our program that we we grew throughout the course of the season. You guys have seen our, our kids respond and and grow throughout the course of the season. Um, you know, they're great competitors, which is the the first thing that you got to have inside your program. Very consistent in that behavior. Um, you know, I, the one thing that, that I and, and we've never done as, as a team is put a ceiling on this, this, this group, and um, they've responded that to, to that too. They believe in, in who they are and are confident in themselves as individuals, but collectively as a group too. And, um, you know, it was important for us to, to show those things throughout this, this season for sure. I, I think as much as anything, you know, all the recruiting that we did from the time that I got here from February up until September, we're really, in some ways, words, right? You're trying to compare and contrast to the things that you've done at other places and why it's going to work here. I think the great thing about uh, where we're at in recruiting now is, you know, recruits understand that all of that thing, all of those things are, are true and, and will happen here. Josh, when you have a moment like the senior ceremony when Alante Taylor, a Tennessee kid, kind of comes up and, and buries his head in you and gives you a bear hug, how emotional is that, given that you've still got to turn around and, and play a game? You, Obviously, you know, he's been through a lot, everybody here's been through a lot. Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, a group of, of young men that <clears throat> they got good careers ahead of them on the football side of them for, for a lot of them, too. But like in life, man, there's no doubt in my mind these guys are going to be successful. Per football prepares you in, in a really unique way for, for what's going to transpire and happen in life. And these guys will be highly successful individuals the way they, they're able to. Uh, to step through things, and, and uh, for Alante, and, and for a lot of them, or all of them, really, you know, just <clears throat> I'm grateful and indebted to them in a lot of ways for you know, just their buy-in and, and being great leaders and being able to communicate. It's a it's a it's a group of seniors that is really rare in the way that their ability in, in their ability to communicate. Uh, and I say that from the first moment that I got here on campus and. You know, what was working, what wasn't, you know, what was broken and, you know, what was important to them. And, and um, that laid a lot of the found foundation or, or the groundwork as far as how we kind of move forward in some of those, those early moments. Coach, all season you guys have maybe had players that were in and out of the lineup and you just put the next guy in an offensive line that you don't have your, your starting right side. You put four different guys in there and rush for 285 yards. Just... What does that say about this team? What does that say about those guys, that, that group and those guys individually? Yeah, for sure. I think it speaks to um, to Coach Golish and, and Coach Ellerby and, and uh, you know, our staff and all the different positions to, to be able to, to put kids in a position of, of success. Uh, I think it speaks to, to those guys that have stepped in, too, and, and competed extremely hard and, you know, 
in the moment, they've taken advantage of it uh, for a lot of them. Uh, but I think it speaks to who they are when nobody's watching, too, and the ability to just grow, you know. I mean, J.J., just where he started, you know, coming in uh, late. And, and uh, I'm just talking about during the course of, of, uh, of summer, you know, just his growth from training camp to, to his ability to go out there and play the way he did tonight. Wes? You, you said consistently that, that you didn't want to put a cap on what this team could be this season. Did you ever feel like you had to, even at the beginning, you had to convince the guys on this team of the same thing, or do you think they understood that? I think, I think what we and we as a staff had to show these guys is what does it look like to to be able to play at a winning level, and talent's one thing, um, but that doesn't dictate where you go in 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 this game or in life, and and you know the the inches that you got to gain every, every day, the accountability that you got to have, the the respect for you know the people you're in the locker room with. To, to your coaching staff, to the ability to work through the process and just continue to fight and grow and, you know, the consistency you have to have in your competitive nature and, and how you attack everything every day. And, and as we have gone through those stages, they've started to understand that, man, we do have a chance to, to really be a good football team, you know? And, and I think they gained confidence in that. They gained trust in us as a staff, but gained confidence in who they were as well, and, and uh, <clears throat> you know, and then when things haven't gone perfect, you know, or we've been on the wrong side of it, we've, we've tried to show them why those things transpire and things that we can control to, to change the outcome of some of those football games. Mike and Vince. Yeah, Josh, I just want to get your reaction to Tyon Evans uh, yesterday. Three days ago? Yesterday, announced he was going to enter the transfer portal. Yeah, wish him nothing but the best. What's the plan now moving forward now that the regular season's over, wait for obviously a bowl bid? How will you guys uh, approach the coming weeks? Yeah, I, I mean, first of all, our staff will be on the road recruiting here and, and uh, you know, that you know kind of becomes the, the forefront here for, for the next week or two. Um, we'll be back next weekend, <coughs> have have a bowl practice or, or two uh, next weekend and, and uh, you know, for our guys, they'll, they'll have a day or two off during the course of the week, but uh, they'll get back in the weight room a little bit too. Other questions? We'll go to the back. How do you feel Cedric Tillman has developed as the season has gone along? He's three straight games with 100 plus yards now. Yeah, um, believe his football still ahead of him, uh, but a guy that from the moment we've gotten here, just been super consistent in who he is and how he approaches the, the day, how he works in the weight room. Got to spend as much time as anybody uh, watching extra film on what we've done offensively and, and what he was going to have to do. Because of his work habits, just, I mean, he constantly gets better. First five days of spring ball to the second five days, you could see him get better. You could see his confidence grow. Second five to the third five days, man, he took another huge jump. Who he was all summer long, how he prepared, man, he just, during training camp, you could see him take steps, and and uh, you guys have seen that in the way he's played throughout the course of the season. Man, he's he's got a chance to be an extremely dominant football player next year, and and uh, you know, you guys got a chance to to do some really special things, and help this program win. Patrick and Adam, coach, you've been asked about conversations with Hendon about what he's going to do as a coach. I mean, selfishly, you probably want him back based on how well he's played for you this season. But how do you kind of go about those conversations with him about what he's going to do for? Yeah, I, I think for all for all those guys, um, you know, to me, uh, you just approach it um, that you want to present information to your players and make sure that they understand, you know, where they're at, what's being said, what the process looks like, and you help them and their families. You want the best for them, man. I, I want every one of our players to go to the NFL and have a ten year career and and uh, you know change the course of their life forever. You know, to do that, you, you got to be physically emotionally, mentally ready to make that stride. It's not a it's not a league, it's a developmental league. And so you want to make sure that your kids are in the right position and the right frame of mind. And and uh, when it's time for those guys to jump, man, shoot, nobody's happier for them than, than myself or our staff. What do things look like from here in terms of uh, 
recruiting practice for the bowl to give you guys some time off? Have you thought about that? Yeah, they'll, they'll have a few days off this coming week. Uh, they'll get some lifts in. Uh, we'll have something uh, this weekend, uh, this coming weekend, you know, uh, a practice or two. I uh, haven't decided that. And, and then, uh, you know, coaches are out on the road and, and uh, hitting the ground running here tomorrow. Coaches, time for one more. Okay. All right, we'll have players shortly. Final. <laughs> you, guys, you guys have a great night. Thank you.